Hello and welcome to another music theory tutorial. In common practice tonal music, and indeed in many other types of tonal music, composers will organize phrases in certain configurations to create an overall sense of direction in the music. When two phrases are paired such that the second phrase ends with a stronger cadence than the first, they are said to be in antecedent consequent relationship. Together the phrases form a period. Periods always consist of at least two phrases, and usually consist of exactly two phrases. Remember, phrases always end with cadences. I'll use arrows to illustrate phrases. In a period, the first phrase, called the antecedent, ends with a weaker cadence than the second phrase, called the consequent. We generally categorize periods thematically in one of two ways. When both phrases begin with highly similar melodic material, we call them parallel phrases. When both phrases begin with different melodic material, we call them contrasting phrases. There are several ways in which periods are organized harmonically. When the first phrase ends with a half cadence, and the second phrase begins again on the tonic before concluding with a stronger cadence, it's called an interrupted period. When the first phrase ends with an imperfect authentic cadence, and the second phrase begins again on tonic before concluding with a stronger cadence, it's called a sectional period. When the first phrase ends with a half cadence, or on an authentic cadence somewhere other than the tonic, and the second phrase begins somewhere other than the tonic before concluding with a stronger cadence in the home key, it's called a continuous period. When the first phrase ends with a half cadence, or in perfect authentic cadence, and the second phrase modulates and concludes with an authentic cadence in a new key, it's called a progressive period. The thematic and harmonic categories can be combined to create several different types of periods. Each period type is either parallel or contrasting, and either interrupted, sectional, continuous, or progressive. For example, we could have a parallel interrupted period, a contrasting continuous period, a parallel sectional period, and so on. Let's listen to a few examples. For each one, listen carefully to the cadence that ends each phrase and the harmony and melody used at the beginning of each phrase. Then, try to identify the period type. In this example, the first phrase ended with a half cadence in G major. The second phrase began with the same melody and ended with the PAC in G major. Altogether, then, we have a parallel interrupted period. In this example, the first phrase ended with an imperfect authentic cadence in B-flat major. The second phrase began on tonic with the same melody and ended with a perfect authentic cadence in B-flat major. Together, these phrases form a parallel sectional period. In this example, the first phrase ends on a tonicized half cadence in B flat major. The second phrase begins with new melodic material over dominant harmony and it ends with a PAC in the home key. Because the second phrase begins with new material over a non tonic chord, this is an example of a contrasting continuous period. In this final example, the first phrase ends with a half cadence in the home key of D major. The second phrase begins with the same three-note melodic motive, 
but quickly modulates to the key of A major and concludes with a perfect authentic cadence. Since the second phrase begins with the same melodic material but concludes with an authentic cadence in a new key, this is a parallel progressive period. This concludes this music theory tutorial. Thanks for watching.